Okay, so uh, thank you for, in, in particular, thank you for this invitation. So today, uh, because this is my first, uh, my first uh, uh, presentation in control and biological systems. And here today, I'm going to introduce, uh, to present some of the work I have done in collaboration with the uh, uh, University of Pittsburgh and the Ilman Cancer Center. And in particular, I'm going to talk about how to control the activation of CAR T cell in particular to study the effect of this activation um, uh, using control-oriented models. So first of all, I would like to say, so this is my main domain of research. So I was, I'm was i working on safe, secure, controlled cyber physical system. So we have a threat of our attacks. And then uh, I developed uh, control, resilient control strategy. And then uh, uh, I I found that when you develop this kind of control, uh, you have some consequences. The, the countermeasure against attack, they can have consequences uh, on the physical system. And I found this connection with, uh, uh, in particular, with cancer immunotherapy, talking with people, uh, in particular, with Professor Jeffrey Lemuller from the uh, University of Pittsburgh. And then I focused that by direction on CAR T cell uh, therapy. So we get uh, the T cells from the, uh, from the patient, then uh, they insert uh, the gene of CAR, the chimeric antigen receptor, and then after growing the, the cells, they are infused into the patient. So this uh, uh, gene, this uh, chimeric antigen receptor is able to detect uh, uh, the tumor, in particular when it's in contact with the Tumor so my apologies, I'm, I'm not from biology, I'm more control engineer, so probably the terminology is going to be, but so when, when uh, the, the CAR T cell uh, is going to be in the uh, in contact with the tumor uh, uh, microenvironment is getting activated and then the start of proliferation and uh, target cell lysis, so it start to kill the tumor cell. So, but the problem here is, is that, so, how can we ensure that we can get tumor clearance uh, using a particular strategy that from uh, synthetic biology? So the, the can, uh, that's been designed using synthetic biology strategy. And uh, how can we make sure that uh, uh, we don't have a non-controlled activation uh, and then everything's getting toxic for the entire body? So that's why this, those are, this is the main, uh, challenge that we try to um, to answer using uh, control oriented models and the other challenge that they they are doing that they're working on is to extend the car t therapies to solid tumors so and in particular uh, the strategy that they are uh, working on is to introduce additional car t cell activations in order that uh, can regulate the activation in order to achieve those challenges so how can we analyze uh, the effect of these uh, uh, new activation strategies. But even before starting the experiments, if we can have some insights and uh, before starting the experiment and after that when we have uh, the, uh, the data. So, and here the proposed solution, the proposed analysis to develop a, a control-oriented model and then uh, do some control-oriented analysis. In this case, I'm proposing backstepping analysis in order to check the effect of uh, possible uh, additional activation strategies. So, uh, about so first of all, if you need, we need a control-oriented model. So I, uh, doing some research, I found this particular um, model. Uh, this is CalMath, where we can see that we have three subsystems. We have a tumor cell, non-active CAR T cell, and active CAR T cell. Here you, you can see from the schema the positive effect. So we have a increase of the tumor cell because it's proliferating, but then the active CAR T cell are going to kill this tumor cell, so we, we have a negative effect. But at the same time, the tumor uh, effect, the, the tumor cells, they are triggering the non-active uh, active, non -active CAR T cell into active CAR T cell. And then we have this uh, particular scheme that is translated in this set of three uh, differential equations. So the first one, X1, represents the tumor, where uh, R is the uh, uh, tumor growth rate, rate, 
And this model represents that there is a maximum number of cells that can, can be achieved. Instead, gamma uh, represents the, the cytotoxic coefficient that uh, is going to uh, represent the uh, con the reduction factor uh, of the tumor cell due to the present of, presence of active CAR T cell. X2 represents instead the, active, the model of active CAR T cells, and X3 represents uh, represent the non-active CAR T cell. What is in um, this model? Uh, so we consider in this model, in, in absence of tumor, so X1 equals zero, those X2 and X3 are, represent a, a linear asymptotically stable model. So the, uh, the, the number of uh, CAR T cells are going to zero. So analyzing this, uh, this model, we found uh, uh, three, uh, four uh, equilibrium points. In particular, we are interested to the equilibrium point where all the cells are zero. So it means that we can, uh, we can achieve Two more clearance, but unfortunately, with this model, because it's more like a prey predator model, is uh, is going to be uh, unstable. While the other uh, equilibrium point represents where the two more uh, achieve its maximum number of uh, cells, is go can be asymptotically stable or unstable. So we have a bifurcation based on the uh, the parameters. But then the other two feasible. Um, uh, equilibrium point represents that we there is the tumor and CAR T cell co coexistence. So, in other words, if, if we want to achieve a, a particular uh, tumor clearance, so we need to uh, find uh, uh, a way that uh, we have to end up in one of these two uh, equilibrium points, which which are stable. So. Now, what happens, how, how can we model the additional CAR T activation? So here, what I uh, try to, in, in a very simple way, to consider an extra trip activation input is tau, which is going to increase the number of uh, um, active CAR T cell. And of course, it's going to decrease the number of non-active CAR T cell. So now this, Considering X3, so the pool of a non-active CAR T cell as a, an external input, we focus more on the, the system made by the first two equations. And then we want to uh, check if with tau we can guarantee that X1 is going to zero. We can drive uh, the number of two more cells to zero. So we can guarantee uh, asymptotic stability. And to do so, we apply a backstepping analysis. So if we take uh, the first equation uh, for the uh, two more cells, what we get, what we have here, X2, represent our control input. And then we can uh, use it as U1. So what, uh, so the idea is to check if U1 can be represented as a, a stabilizing controller. So this is not the control that we are going to implement, but we want to study if there exists a tau such that uh, at certain point, uh, the system is behaving like, uh, so the active CAR T cell is behaving like this state feedback control that stabilizes uh, the two more uh, equation and where A is some parameter that we decide. So this is our goal, and to do so, we apply just best stepping. So to do so, we define a new variable C2, which represent, uh, which is the difference between, uh, between X2, the number of active CAR T cell, and the, our desired controller. And after all the substitutions, what we do is we, uh, we study the asymptotic stability of this system, because if uh, Z2 uh, is going to zero means that X2 is going to be able like the stabilizing control. <clears throat> so to do so, we define this Lyapunov function. I omitted all the computation, but we can uh, we can uh, check uh, we can prove that uh, this is a Lyapunov function if tau is equal to this quantity. 
and then the system is going to be equal to asymptotic stability. So if we can uh, keep an activation uh, of the act, uh, active CAR T cell equal to this quantity, the system is going to be asymptotically stable. And this is uh, the new equilibrium point where the active and non-active CAR T cell achieve a steady state values. So there is not an uncontrolled activation or uncontrolled growth of the uh, active, uh, active or non-active CAR T cells. In general, find this kind of cancellation over here can be very difficult, but in general, doing other analysis, we can find that this tau can be just greater of this quantity in order that we don't know exactly the value of the parameters. Those are the results that's from the previous paper of Karl Marx. So uh, he, here we have a growth of the tumor and uh, after 40 days, we start the therapy. And we start from a, an arbitrary initial condition. And then we can see that the system, so the tumor can grow again because the uh, point X1 equals zero is not asymptotically stable. Instead, if we use this extra activation input, we can achieve uh, uh, here tumor clearance in practice because the value of the tumor goes very good. In practice, it's going to be zero. This is what, <coughs> sorry, this is what we obtain in the case uh, we have an uncontrolled CAR T cell activation, which is potentially toxic for the uh, for the for the entire organism, but then the level of uh, uh, tumor clearance is almost the same that we get uh, with the controller tau. So in conclusion, here we. So what we wanted to show is that if we use control reenter model, we can uh, have an analysis about the effectiveness. <coughs> sorry, of additional activation inputs, and then we found how the references that can. Uh, fit this particular framework. Now what we want to do is to find more connections with the synthetic biological uh, biology strategies and uh, the extension to solid tubes. And uh, since this is my first presentation here, uh, I really would appreciate if any of you has any suggestion, comments uh, that for me in this new field. So thank you very much.